Hello everyone and welcome back to another Doctor review. Now today I am coming back with my first figure review in quite a while actually. Um, as you all know my most recent videos have mainly been on Doctor Who character building stuff. But today I decided to come back with a Doctor Who figure review. And I decided what better um, video to like do it on than uh, this, this new wave of sound effects Daleks. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, um, I am reviewing today the uh, sound effects bronze Dalek, um, which appeared in 2005-2010 of uh, Doctor Who. Um, so yeah, so this does look like a really nice figure. I was really glad to see that they had it when I went in, um, because I got this from Argos. They had two altogether. It was either this one or the 1960s Dalek. But I decided to get this one seen as it did look like the coolest and it was on my to buy list for quite a long time actually. Um, so yeah, so having a look at the packaging now, um, as you can see at the bottom here, basic stuff. Uh, you've got a Doc 2 logo, sound effects Dalek, a bronze Dalek and then it's got 2005 there. Which I do find a little bit strange, I'm surprised they didn't put 2005 to 2010 down there. Seeing as um, like that is sort of the timeline of this. But anyway, I guess they just wanted to give it a specific year, like the rest of the wave. Um, so yeah, so you've got character options logo down there. And then you've got two little uh, bubbles here. And it says featuring 2000s era speech and sound effects. And then you've got try me, double press for exterminate effects. And then, just as we move the camera up here. And as you can see, there's two other eclipse bubbles at the top here. It says talking Dalek on the left. And it also has with speech and sound effects on the right there. And then you've got the words exterminate there, broken up into its syllables. And then moving up onto the top there, you've got the BBC logo and the 5 Plus. And then also the card, which is really cool, is shaped like a Dalek, as you can see. There's the little lights that appear on the side of the Dalek's head and the vents and everything. Which is obviously really nice, it's something that is quite nice to see. Um, so yeah, so looking at the back of the packaging, as you can see you've got all the Daleks here and um, there's uh, six all together in this wave, which is uh, quite nice. Um, so yeah, so obviously there's the bronze Dalek that I'm reviewing right now. And obviously seeing as I got from Argos, there's the sort of code number. And then you've got sound effects and speech by era. I know you can't see that, but I can sort of see it through this little sticker there. And then you've got collect them all. Uh, electronic sound effects Daleks, I'm guessing that's saying. Then you've got a bio here. Um, it's sort of a little bit blurry, you may be able to see it. Um, but I can just about read it through there. But if you can read it, I do recommend uh, pausing it and taking a look at it. Seeing as um, it is pretty interesting and it's a bio we've never seen before. And it's I'm guessing it's pretty much just exclusive to this wave. Then you've got um, some information down here, joking hazard stuff, um, logos, addresses, and different things like that. And then you've just got, you've got, you haven't really got anything on the bottom. So yeah, so that pretty much uh, covers it for the box. Now I'm taking the actual Dalek itself and reviewing so it. Now I've taken the actual Dalek itself out of the packaging, and I have to say I am pretty impressed with it. I've had a little play around with it, had a look at the articulation, the detailing, and the sound effects. And uh, I'm quite impressed by it. Um, so yeah, so so far um, is probably a figure that I would definitely recommend from getting this wave. Um, however, if you already have the Dalek Progenitor Guardian, which was released with the Series 5 figures, then I wouldn't recommend getting this. Seeing as it is exactly the same mould, but it has the sound effects. And um, I'm, I'm quite keen on the sound effects, but there's just a few things about them. Um, so yeah, so taking a look at articulation first, seeing as that will be very quick and um, I can get onto the rest of the stuff about it. So yeah, as you can see, um, basic articulation for the Dalek, head can rotate and do a 360. Eye stalk can move up and down. Um, the exterminator gun is ball jointed so you can move that wherever you want. And the sucker arm is also ball jointed so you can remove uh, move that wherever you want. Um, so yeah, so looking at detailing first, as you can see, uh, carriage options has, as usual have absolutely uh, done a fantastic job on the uh, figure. As you can see, looking at the head, there's all the stuff that should be there, all the lines and things going down the side of the head, and the lights on the side of the head, 
have obviously been put there, which is really nice. And um, these bits on the top of the head here, which is really cool. The eye stalk has also been done very nicely. Um, as you can see, they've put the little blue light in the rings, which is really nice. And as you can see, there's sort of vents going down the side of the neck there. We've got this sort of metal grating going all the way along the sides there, or the metal panels, which is absolutely brilliant. And they've been uh, painted the right colour and everything. And you've got the weapons here. Obviously, they've been very nicely detailed as well. And then you've got the base here, as you can see, um, been done very uh, nicely. None of like the paint overlaps onto like anywhere that it shouldn't be. There's no uh, sort of gold going on the going on this bit here. There's not there's not a the bronze going onto the gold or anything, which is um obviously really good. And then you've got the base here, which has also been done very nicely as well. So overall, the detailing on this figure is pretty good, and yeah, it is definitely um worth buying just for detailing really. And seeing as it does look very nice on a shelf. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the feature of the Starlick, and this is the um, obviously the sound effects uh, noises it makes. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, there's a little switch at the bottom here to turn it on and off. And um, you just switch that along. Although when you get it, um, it is already on. And there's one thing I find quite weird about the switch. It doesn't have actually have like a a try me button it just has them um, on and off which is a little bit weird so if loads of people are pressing it in the packaging then the battery might run out um but yeah a little bit weird but it doesn't really matter so yeah so um you just slide the switch along and there you go so on each Dalek there's this button here which is on this panel here you may be able to see it but um that's why I like this sort of button so much it's so discreet and they haven't made it stand out loads either which is um, obviously really nice. Um, so yeah, so you just press this button and then he starts talking. So yeah, there's the exterminate effects there. Okay, so it obviously goes back to the start. Um, so yeah, so I do quite like the uh, sound effects on this. Um, it is pretty cool because not only um, have they used like quotes from the episode, as you can see, as you heard just there, they used Elevate, which is uh, really nice. I'm really glad they included that. Uh, it kind of makes the Dalek seem more eerie and everything, and it's just one of my favourite like moments in Series Five. And it's nice to recreate that scene as you do have. Um, that noise with this um so yeah so it is pretty nice um uh i don't know if i said before but um it sort of says exactly the same things as the other daleks except um obviously in a different voice um obviously you need that to sort of take them apart and put a little bit of variation in there but yeah so the voices are pretty nice i do quite like the voices but um, if you already have the Dalek Progenitor Guardian, like I said, it probably isn't worth getting this just for the voices. They are cool, but it, it doesn't. It says quite a bit, but it doesn't. It isn't worth fifteen pounds for it. Um, so yeah. So what do I think of this figure? I believe that it's an absolutely fantastic figure. Definitely one that is well worth picking up. Um, so yeah. So once again, it is absolutely brilliant, and I would definitely recommend. Um, buying this to any Doctor Who fan out there. Um, once again, not one that you would want if you already had the Dalek Progenitor Guardian. But yeah, it, again, it's another army builder figure, which is obviously really nice. And you could probably army build a lot of them if you have enough money, seeing as they are um, £15 each. Um, so yeah, but um, it's a nice little addition to your collection if you're just collecting Daleks or you're just starting out collecting Doctor Who figures. So yeah, so it is absolutely fantastic, and I would definitely recommend it to anybody. Alright, so my uh, next review um, may be on another sound effects Dalek, 
which is the um, sound effects Dalek from uh, the Dalek Invasion of Earth, which was broadcasted in 1964. So, uh, sooner or later, I may be doing a review on that, um, but I obviously I won't have the packaging because I have already opened it and um, I've already gone through it really, so it's a bit pointless. Um, so yeah, so once again, definitely a figure well worth getting. And uh, yeah, so see you next time for another Doctor Who review.